Right, so next we go to example 3, which is for the case of solenoid current. Right, the question is, find a magnetostatic field along Z axis due to a solenoid of current I with a length L and number of loops N. Right, so we can see that we uh, imagine you have a long wire and we have a multiple loop here in the form of a cylindrical. So to solve this problem, basically it's, it's just like a combination of multiple loop current. So we can use the solution that we done for the single loop currents into a solenoid. So this is a conclusion that we did for the one circular loop uh, current. Okay, this is the field contributed by only one loop. But what happened if we have multiple loop, or we call this a solenoid current, right? So we have to do a, a little bit uh, modifi modifications, right? Each loop carries the di equal to j s b z so this is actually like uh, we have a j s the 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 surface current density because we have a full current here so we it's just like a surface current density multi, uh, multiply with the length of the solenoid where the j s here is basically the ni, the number of turn uh, multiplied by the magnitude of current divided by the length. This is the, the, the surface current density. Right. So this is the modification for our i because uh, this is the solution for the single loop. So if we have the multiple loop, so it's just like we, we have to change into dh. So when we have dh here, so we have di. So di here. Where the di is basically equal to d and i over l. So to find what is the total uh, magnetic field contributed by the number of the many loops, so we have to do the integrations, okay, uh, towards the Z because uh, this is uh, the di equal to and i over l dz direction of z okay so uh, we have dz so our z only here so everything we can put outside so we have n i e square divided by 2 l integration of dz divided by a square plus z square 3 over 2 direction of z so here you have to to use the identity Okay, using this identity so this is our solutions right this is our solution right so we have two cases. the first case is the magnetic field intensity at the end of the solenoid okay let's see this is our solenoid so we have the solenoid up at the end and at the center end and center so what is the difference okay at the end of the solenoid the difference is you have to integrate from 0 to L okay from the one end to another end all right so when we integrate this we got uh, hash L equal to n i over 2 a square plus L square set Alright, so the second um, case is the H at the center of the solenoid. At the center. So at the center of the solenoid, the difference is we have to do the integration from negative L over 2 to L over 2. Right, so this is our solution. Right, so let's say if the length of the solenoid is much greater than its radius it's very long so we can say that l is much greater than a we can simplify 
the first uh, expression to be h equal to ni over 2l or it is uh, equal to js over 2z and i over l is js so this is h at the end of the solenoid next we have um, at the center h equal to n i over l z or j s z this is a h at the center of the solenoid so as a conclusion the h at um, the center is equal to this is G, j s is the this one is a j s over two so basically this the h l is basically the h at the end and this is the H at the center.